hey guys welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be ranking my reloaded palettes now I was doing a little series I wasn't very consistent but I was doing a little series on Instagram where I put up um, a look you know every day every other day um, of my reloaded collection I have seven reloaded palettes in my collection so I was doing like a week of reloaded but because of other things it wasn't very consistent seven consecutive days but I managed to do six of them the seventh one is actually this look but uh, I've struggled so much doing this look today so I'm not even gonna put it up because it's just a I feel like it's a hot mess but you can see that I look I, I did today and I used the uh, neutrals 2 palette for this one but I really really struggled today to do my makeup in general my lashes wouldn't go on <clears throat> it was just a mess y'all so yeah that is the seventh look I have on today which is a really little two so yeah I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite so if you want to find out uh, who is on top and who's at the bottom of my reloaded palette collection then keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so this might come as no surprise as I struggled with it today. Um, my least favorite, I will say, will have to be the neutrals too. Color story is beautiful, but for some reason, the pigmentation on this palette is just not working for me. It, it's especially this orange. I really wanted to use this orange. I did use this orange all over my lid but it took a lot to pack it on i wanted to do like a monochromatic look and it took a lot to pack this orange color on um i used the shimmer in my inner corner and it was yeah i don't know the the pigmentation was not great for me um i don't know if it's because it's older it's not even two years old yet so i don't know why it's acting this way but yeah i did not really enjoy using this i haven't used this palette in quite a while actually um so i did not really enjoy using this that much today um i think these two shimmers might still be quite good so i might keep them for those but yeah the transition shades and the matte shades are not working great on my skin tone it looks okay on the camera i guess but yeah it took a lot to get this look so yeah that would be my least favorite in the neutrals too my sixth favorite i will say will be the iconic vitality so this is the modern renaissance dupe of the reloaded palettes i like this palette the mattes as opposed to this one the mattes in here are really good the mattes in here are very pigmented but it's the shimmers that i have a problem with the shimmers there's not a lot of them there's only two shimmers really there's the this color and that color are shimmers this one is more like a satin what is it matte yeah it's more like a satinish matte color yeah it's more like a satin color but um yeah so there's only two slash three shimmers in here and they're not very pigmented so that is why this is kind of uh, second to last because the shimmer range is not great and it's not really um pigmented either and i think that's the same with the um with the actual modern renaissance the palette is supposed to be more of a matte palette so yeah i understand why it's like that but i like a, a metallic shimmer and these doesn't have that i am glad that they actually put in a black though so that is a, the good part of this one compared to the modern renaissance and the, as i said the matte is great but the shimmers are pants so this is second to last my fifth favorite will have to go to my reloaded provocative palette now this is a pinkish um color story this was i think this was the second look i did on my instagram and this is the color story of this palette this palette is really beautiful but the reason why it's in this position is because you can't really get much varied look from this palette you could only really get soft pink looks as you can see the color story is very soft very pink it works decently on my skin tone but yeah um some of the colors can be a bit too light this one is a little too light so for transition i usually go in with this um and deepen with you know this or combination of these so a lot of the matte colors are a little bit redundant for my skin tone because it's quite light um but the shimmers are really nice but if you're a lighter skin tone this will work great on you and I, and I was able to get a really good look from it so yeah this is my third to last which is the reloaded provocative palette 
my fourth um, favorite is the hypnotic reloaded hypnotic palette and this is the sultry dupe from anastasia beverly hills so as you can see it's a dupe for the sultry palette i like i really do like this palette i love the silver the silver color and this kind of like a what would you call that color like a silvery taupey shimmer yeah i'll say it's a, like a taupey shimmer um and this coral color is really nice um when it comes to actual transition colors most of the mattes are very close to my skin tone so the transition doesn't show up very great on me but the shimmers are great and i like the looks i get from this um so yeah i really do like this palette but i like the my top three more than this because of the the range and the best vert how do you say that versatility of it um but yeah this is also a good palette if you don't have this one i will suggest you get it because it's quite unique so yeah that is the hypnotic palette from uh, revolution and that is my fourth favorite so this is my now my top three my third favorite will have to go to the reloaded iconic division palette now this is a subculture dupe as you can see it's a subculture dupe it has like lots of great greens and um yeah some copper colors and some neutral colors as well this palette is really really good i really like this one this green is my favorite in the palette um on the shimmers i like the, obviously the the green shimmer as well i like that there's a black in here this purple is also really really pretty um yeah and i do like this this um kind of like duochrome color here it doesn't come off really well but it swatches like pink in shade so you can see it's white in the pan but when you put it on your when you put it on your lid it's pink so yeah i really like this for the inner corner or to top another shimmer or to top another shimmer it's really good for that and yeah so i've re i've used this palette a lot and i actually do really like this one so this is my third um favorite my, so my top two, my second favorite, I was debating between these two palettes and I put this, my second favorite in the position because of the way that some of the shimmers perform and so my second favorite will have to go to the Reloaded Velvet Rose. Now I feel like everybody needs this palette in their collection. This palette I have used enormously and I just dug my finger into it, oh my goodness, okay. Um, I've used this palette a lot and this is a dupe for the Soft Glam by ABH um, But yeah, this palette is really great. I love 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 this color over here. It's like a brownish burgundy Color it's beautiful. It's super pigmented. It's yeah, the transition shades in here are great They, they show up really well on uh, my skin tone. So if you have a lighter skin tone than me, it's gonna show up great the shimmers are also nice my favorite shimmer is this one but it also is very problematic for me because there's a lot of fallout it's very chunky um, and it takes quite a lot of effort to put it onto your lid but yeah i do like it but i'll say probably put a, put it onto a sticky base or use a glitter glue to apply it or wet your brush before you apply it um i also like that they have a black in here yeah this palette is really really good i really do enjoy this one I use it quite a lot and I love the looks that I get from it. So yeah, that's my second favorite, the Velvet Rose. So my number one, you might not have guessed or you might have guessed that my number one is actually the Reloaded Neutrals 3. Now this didn't get a lot of buzz when it came out. Um, I think a few like darker skin tone people loved it, but it didn't get as much buzz as the Velvet Rose uh, did. But I love this palette. This is the Neutrals 3. As you can see, it has lots of gorgeous, rich, deep, dark tones. Perfect for deeper skin tone. I really enjoyed using this palette. It shows up so easily. Pigmentation is amazing. I just love this palette. This is the day. I love, 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 love this palette. So yeah, this is my number one, definitely. My sh my favorite shades will again will have to be the burgundies. This coppery gold is stunning. Let me swatch it for you so you can see just how just just look at that. Look at four pounds. Well, it's not five pounds. Let's not talk about that right now. But four or five pounds. Five pounds. Okay, let's say five. Five pounds. 
for this palette you can't beat it it has a black it has burgundies it has golds it has reds it has but it's just it's just beautiful okay so if you're especially if you're deeper skin tone get this palette you're gonna love it so yeah that is my ranking of my reloaded palettes i hope you guys enjoyed um this video let me know which reload palettes that you have maybe the ones i showed you do you have any of them do you have other ones that you think i should try out let me know below so i can maybe add some more to my collection i'm thinking of maybe getting the blue one um but i'm not too sure yet but yeah let me know if there's any other ones that i have really good pigmentation that you think i will enjoy leave them below and let us know what your favorite reloaded palette is as well and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye loves